On Monday, I made this prediction. I think that there are big chances that there is a draw in this game. Probably Bayern will repeat what they did with Rome. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, this, this is a draw. 2-2. Two, two. Don't you hate when you are right about something, but you don't want to be right about that because it is bringing something not that positive? Well, that is the case. As the game was progressing and the score was changing until that 2-2, two, two, I felt that there was bad juju about what I did with that prediction because, yeah, I predicted that draw and that draw meant that Bayern wouldn't pass to the next stage. And you know, so I'm from Colombia, South America and here, well, we are a little bit superstitious about things and yeah, at some point I was a bit concerned about that prediction. But yeah, just just leave it aside for a while and concentrate on what happened in that game. I gotta be honest, at the first part of the first half, say like in the first 20, 25 minutes, I was just watching the game and yeah, it was, I don't know, kind of lazy thing to watch. I felt a little bit asleep, but then like, things started to get heated on the pitch, you know, a couple of chances for Bayern that woke me up. It was cool to wake up and see that Bayern was attacking, threatening PSG's goalkeeper. And then luckily, on minute 35, Julius Winheader changed everything. That goal set things in motion in this battle royale because with that goal Bayern was qualifying to the next stage. After Julia Wynn scored that goal, I immediately checked the standings and I saw that Roma was beating Ajax, which meant that Ajax was at the bottom of the table, then Rome in third place, in first place Bayern and second PSG. And the things continue like that until the end of the first half. I cannot imagine what happens through the head of all players in those 15 minutes rest. All four teams in need to throw everything on the pitch on the second half. And believe me, they threw it all because PSG was feeling on the verge of elimination. Bayern needed to secure a second goal in order to have some air to breathe. For the Ajax players falling in their own home, I think that was no chance in these circumstances. And just imagine Roma's mindset, knowing that they were beating Ajax. So they were pretty confident, I guess. And believe me, the second half in Bayern PSG. Yeah, it was exquisite to watch that. 100% energy, decision, will of winning despite failures in tactics or lacking skill in some decisive moments of the game. And I'm saying this because yeah, Bayern was attacking and attacking and attacking the first like 10 minutes of the game but that attack of Bayern required a lot of stamina but yeah they failed to score and when you put that stamina that crazy way of pushing and pushing your rival against the wall you need to score because if you don't do it it happens what happened you know <laughs> we reached minute 70 I checked the standings and Ajax had gotten the equalizer minutes ago and I was again crossing fingers that things would end like that. But as I said before, if you push like crazy and you don't score, there's a big chance that your opponent finds an opening in one of your weak spots and scores. And this is what happened. Minute 72. 
I think there was hesitation from the side of course and yeah PSG scored the equalizer which made Bayern drop to third position PSG moved to the first, Ajax to the second and Rome to the fourth but you know some of the things that I love the most in football is that no matter what happens there will be always chances for you to change history, change things and this is what happened minute 74, like around 2-3 minutes later after PSG scored one of my favorite players of Bayern and Germany, Clara Bull, was holding the ball, you know, trying to find that specific moment on throwing a cross and like the world stopped. It was like in slow motion watching that to happen and she crossed the ball and Sidney Loman with a header put Bayern ahead again. Yeah, I was celebrating like crazy. But at the same time, I was getting a little bit worried because with that 2-1, we were approaching to my prediction. An equalizer of 2-2. Why did I predict that? PSG continued storming Bayern until they got that equalizer which meant that Bayern was about to get flatlined. At that moment, I checked the standings and I saw that Ajax got the comeback, so the standings were crazy. We reached injury time, they gave like five, six minutes? I think there were six minutes injury time or stoppage time. Both teams pushing and pushing and pushing. And then, in the last second, Damjanovic, score a goal I was about to jump from the chair but I saw that don't you hate when that happens the team you support gets the comeback in the last second and you see that image anyways we lost the last German team in the Champions League and well, we need to find a team we can support here in Arena Football. So I think we will root here for Chelsea because in Chelsea we have Sjöke Nusken and she's in the starting eleven. So we will support Chelsea because we are also waiting to see Maiga Ramirez that she's from Colombia. I'm from Colombia so I want to see her there as a striker storming the pitch and having this connection with Sirke Nusken and, and Kanerit because we also support Sweden. Anyways, subscribe to the channel, activate all notifications by clicking on dark dark bell, give us a like, comment on your experience watching this crazy group and see you in the next video.